What's up guys and welcome to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. That's right baby, it's finally here. We're finally starting this series. I've been looking forward to this game for quite some time now. I really enjoyed Wildlands back in 2017 and I think we're gonna be in for a treat with this campaign. So uh, before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. They actually hooked it up with early access and permission to post early. This game doesn't come out for a few more days. So this is an early look. I know you guys are gonna be excited about that. And uh, and yeah, let's uh, let's have a good time. Drop a like if you guys are excited. I really appreciate that support on the first episode of each series. And uh, what the heck, I'll, I'll give away a copy of the game. If any of you guys want a copy of this game, just leave a comment down below with either your Twitter or Instagram handle. I'll reach out to you and I'll buy it for whatever platform you want it on. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys are excited. Let's get into it. Welcome to Aurora the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future a completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a world. Together, we are building two worlds. I mean, it sounds nice, but it's also a little too good to be true. Here we go, fellas. Uh, this is, uh, is going to be good. The USS Sea is mysteriously sunk near the Aroa Archipelago, home of Skeltech. Unable to establish contact, the CIA has launched Operation Greenstone. As a leader of a Spec Ops team of 32 ghosts, your objective is to restore communications. So this rich dude has this private island where he's making crazy technology and weaponry and stuff like that. He's shooting down our ships, or sinking our ships. And we're gonna go put a stop to it. Who is this handsome fella? Dude, he actually looks pretty good. All right, here we go. Customize our appearance. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I like the way he looks. I would rock with him, just as he is. We're going to go with male. Looks good to me. Um, what do we want here? Ooh, ooh, look at, look at that. Look at that chin there. Super chiseled. I'm going to go with Paul Dixon for our face. Eye color, I'm going to keep his blue. Hair, I mean, I, I like our hair here. We're currently on short hair C. We've also got A. We've got a ponytail. Short hair D. Pompadour. What do you guys think? Short hair C or pop? I'm gonna go pop a door. I feel like that's kind of cool. Facial hair, we currently have a goatee. There's also goatee B looking like Zakaev. Goatee C. We could go with some... A mustache, you guys, if you like mustache B. I'm gonna go mustache B. I feel like that looks pretty good. Mutton chops. Old Dutch. Dude, this is... Oh, the Captain Price! Look at that! Nice! I think I'm gonna stay with mustache B, though. Looks good to me. Hair color, we're gonna keep brown. Facial details. Ooh, this is intense. You can have burns and scars and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I feel like scars over the eyes are pretty cool, so I'm going to go with Scar B. And, uh, all right, looks good to me. That's going to be our character. Yeah, I feel like he looks pretty good. Honestly, reminds me of Dr. Disrespect a little bit. Is that a flock of drones? <gasps> okay. We're hanging upside down. Dude, 
Dude, those are drones. It's like we're in Black Ops 2 or something. Better grab his gun, bro. Not like he's gonna need it. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Dude. So now we're stranded on this remote island in the middle of the Pacific. With this dude who's trying to play God. Jay Skell, I think his name was. It's the main bad guy. So we're gonna go search through this wreckage, see if there are any other friendlies available. Dude, this is crazy. We had a, a team of 32 ghosts. 32 of the most well-trained elite operatives in the world, and we all got taken out in one fell swoop by a swarm of drones. We've got critical health right now. Got a suppressed pistol with 130 rounds. <coughs> Things are not looking good. Gonna try to sneak around these guys. Looks like they're just kind of sweeping the area, making sure nobody ended up surviving. I don't know that we're in shape to actually go up on them and take them out, so I'm just gonna go... A little dink. Got them both. Looks like we've got some sort of armament box here or something. Let's see what we can get. Open this bad boy up. Nice work. Now can we grab that and apply it here? Ah, nice. ASR-553. All right, so we've got a primary weapon now. Check what's going on with this guy. Looks like he's not doing very well either. I just realized that we have bandages. Okay, so we can heal ourselves here. Yeah, this this is better. This this is much much better there. So we're gonna fix ourselves up so we can actually move around a little bit. That uh, that would have been smart to do from the the very start. Look at this. We're getting our arm. We're getting our leg. We're gonna be all patched up and we are good to go. Now we can use our assault rifle. Okay. <laughs> Definitely should have had that going from the start, but that's that's all right. We could actually move now. This is this is good. This is a step in the right direction. There's got to be somebody. Storm Cloud One One. This is Weaver. Come in. Over. This is Weaver. Come in. Over. Anything? Who got? Contact. Contact. Oh. No! He's an ex-ghost! Dude! Walker. What the hell are you doing? Oh my goodness. Dude, they just slayed our entire our entire crew of survivors. I don't I don't think we're going to be at the point where we can take these guys on. They don't even have a level. They're like the highly dangerous or whatever. 
I think it's going to be best case scenario for us to roll out and uh, and try to go find the others. We've got one more zone that we're going to have to take a look at. At least now we know kind of who's behind this and, and the ragtag of goons that we're going to have to end up taking out. Kill a few guys along the way to get some revenge. Got them both. Looks like we've got a couple guys here. Whoo! Looks like we've got one or two more guys. Three, actually. Oh, a bunch, actually. Yeah, this is... This is gonna be sketchy. Five dudes. You're right, man. They could survive way worse than this. I almost just messed up right there. I almost missed that shot. Got him. Let's go. All right. Let me see if uh, oh, can we can we picked oh auto picks up. Nice. All right. So we picked up a little level one handgun there. Nothing crazy. Get all this ammo and let's um let's go see if we have any survivors here. We had a few at the other one, and unfortunately, I don't think they made it. Got med kits and stuff, syringes. Let me grab this ammo crate. This weapon crate, see what we can find. Oh, found a sniper rifle, a DMR, the SVD-63. I am down. Sounds like we might have a radio message happening Mayday. here. Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? 555, five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost lead. If you can chase the white rap. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Ghost lead out. So we got a guy alive. We're gonna try to go save him. Now we gotta go find the trail leading to the Twin Falls Mountains. It's behind the ancient ruins, and we've got a bunch of dudes here in front of us. We could take them out, or we could just try to go around. I'm thinking we're gonna try to stay stealthy. I feel like that might be a good idea. We could, I don't know, steal one of their motorcycles or something and just ride out. We also could take them out. Might be kind of fun. Take them out and take their, their bike. That's how we do it, baby. I'm trying to get some uh, some XP, man. I'll take your weapon as well. We gotta set up that sniper on our secondary. Hold on a second. Let me bring up my inventory. So for our secondary, we're gonna grab that SVD-63. Uh huh. Now we got ourselves a nice little nice little sniper rifle. We'll take it. Got a skill point. So there are four different classes in this game. There's Field Medic, Assault, Panther, and Sharpshooter. And uh, I think it's time we pick our class now that we've got the skill point. So Field Medic has uh, faster revives, carry bodies faster, and can self-revive. That's actually pretty solid, I'm not going to lie. Uh, assault has extra health and bonuses with assault rifles and shotguns. Panther has bonus stealth, a faster movement speed, and suppressors on handguns and some machine guns do not reduce damage. And then Sharpshooter has longer breath control while aiming and bonuses with snipers and DMRs. And you guys can see you've got like, you know, different items, sensor launchers, cloaking spray, gas grenade, etc. I think I'm going to go Panther. You guys know I'm a sucker for stealth. I, I, I really like sneaking around and being careful and stuff like that. So this is, uh, is going to be kind of exciting. So that's going to move us into uh, our basic skills. And then after that, you kind of move into your specific direction that you want to go so that's that's kind of cool all right so we've got our, our panther class active and uh i say uh i say we hop on this bike and let's let's get up to this waterfall that we were talking about here we go massive open world that we're going to be exploring here dude we're just barely scratching the surface can we actually see the map yet 
Tack map. Yeah, look at this. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> What? We've got like islands and stuff out here and this is all that we've explored so far. That's it. That is insane, dude. This is uh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay. Definitely not gonna wanna go straight up the main road because they've got a, a checkpoint there. Looks like we've got a new province that has been discovered. What are these question marks up here? Do we have to be careful? Could these be bad guys? Looks like it's actually weapon caches. Don't mind if I do, dude. So this is uh, very much, you know, looter shooter, run around, find anything you can. What is this? This looks like aboriginals or something. Is there like a tombstone we can read? No, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Yeah, there's there's something going, going on with that. Look at that statue there, dude. Yeah, there's, I think there are some locals. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, they, they could be really... Oh, shoot. we got to be careful here. There's another roadblock. They could be, you know, against us or, like, against anyone. Or they could be, like, huge, huge enemies of, of Jace Skell. Somebody, some, some rich white guy who came in and took their land. So, they might actually end up proving useful to us. Going to see if we can go down this mountain and, uh... Like I said, take the path. Let's travel. This looks fairly promising. This is some some pretty tough terrain, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Here we go. We made it. Unscathed. Alright. Gonna have a little safe house in here. Gonna be our little secret cave hideout. Open sesame. Stop right there! Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? A cave. That's what we call it. Get in. So this is Erewhon. This is, uh, some sort of a secret society or something. I don't know who this chick or that dude was, but obviously they're against Jay Skell and his team. Looks like we've got an, another random, what is this place? random person there that joined in. So this is like a whole underground in the cave city type thing. This is cool. And it looks like this is going to be our main base of operations. You boys are right or what? Good to see you, fellas. We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. <sighs> Can you believe this place, man? My mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. Is that John Marston? You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aroll went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high-tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. 
Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skelltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? We're just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Oh. Hey. How are you, man? Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. <sighs> Here. Here's another superpower. <sighs> I can't find Midas. But Weaver... Relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. Looks like our next objective is going to be over here in this tent. Is this Schulz, the head leader guy? How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? Yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. <laughs> Middle East. February 22nd of 2022. So this dude's a badass. It's gonna be a while before we end up taking him down. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. <laughs> I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <sighs> well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. All right. 
So here we go. We, uh, I mean, things are not looking looking good, but at least we've got some direction here. We are gonna leave Erewhon and uh, go try to find these boats. Are we gonna be able to take a helicopter? I'm a little bit worried because I feel like uh, feel like our last ride in a helicopter did not go very well on this island. I don't want to get attacked by a bunch of drones, but this is obviously gonna be our our quickest mode of transport. So I'm thinking that we just go for it. 5.4 kilometers. Yeah, I'd, I'm a little bit worried. I think these smoke smoke signals here, I think these are like little hideouts. And I'm pretty sure if you fly over them, it actually unlocks them. Let me, let me test this out. Did it work? Maybe not. Discover b bivouacs? What is that? Bivouacs. Observing them with your binoculars or drone, you can fast travel to any bivouac you've discovered. Access various preparations that give you unique buffs. Okay. So do we... Do we unlock this? Or do we physically have to get out? Let me check this out. Obviously being able to fast travel is, uh... Is gonna be pretty useful. So we're gonna... Deploy a bivouac here. What is this gonna be like a little... Little campsite or something? Yeah, it's like a little tent shelter type thing with a little campfire. You can roast some s'mores and kind of prepare yourself for the next battle. In all seriousness, you can actually like, you know, craft weapons and, and do all kinds of stuff. You can move time forward and, and whatever else, but uh, we're, uh, we're okay for now. So we've got that discovered. We should, honestly, if we have a helo, we should, we should fly around to a few of these and just kind of discover them. I'm worried we're gonna end up getting taken down, but if we could unlock a bunch of the fast travel points right off the start of this series, that would be a huge help, that's for sure. Dude, the scale of this map is just insane. What is that, a giant rail gun over there? Do you guys see that thing? That is ridiculous. All right, found another one here in the Galleon Cove. Got a sunken ship out there, maybe some pirates. I, I'm, I'm not going close to that gun. Look at the, the moon island out there. We've got giant docks and stuff. We were flying over snowy areas earlier. Like, this is... This is Bolivia on a whole new level, man. This is crazy. Enough exploring aside, though. Let's, uh, let's, let's go hit our next main mission over here. Looks like this is where our boats are going to be, right here on the coastline. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and set this bird down. And, uh... Looks like it's a fairly friendly area. There we go. Almost took down their tree, but they're okay. We've got a little cache over here. A couple of caches. Go grab these. An ASR Mark 7. Got an AR and one, and we're going to get, uh, what are we going to get in here? New little enhanced cap. I mean, I guess I guess we could apply these things. This is going to give us plus four to our power level and then our, our hat. I feel like I don't really like our current military helmet, so I'm happy to get rid of that. Look at this hat giving us extra, extra benefits. <laughs> Hats over helmets all day, baby. All right, here we go. Let's see what we've got going on. Not going to hurt anyone. Mad Schultz sent me. You don't look like homesteaders. Well, I worked... I work uh, for Skeltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to this island from a Navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. I can get these bolts back to that ship, then I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. This is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? 
No, uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, uh, not, not, not badly. Uh, we left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. Nice! I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. The drones are back! That's what took down our chopper. And they're keeping people from leaving. No one in, no one out. Are you kidding me right now? Shit. More bad guys. Everyone take cover! We got bad guys coming in? Alright. What can we use our drone for? Got you! Got you, suckers! Woo! Not today. You are gonna leave these people alone. Kill enemies as close as possible. CQC to fill your Panther technique gauge quicker. Got a little bit of range here. Nice work. More guys. Gotta love explosive barrels, right? Let's go. What the hell was that? Give me a minute. God, those people, it, it must be a, a, a new security programmer, holy flying cow, <laughs> my guess is, my guess is nothing could come to or leave this island as long as it's on. That must be what brought down my chopper. I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. Listen. You have to get these people, and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you, and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. Okay, yes, yeah. Uh, are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing building you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck. <laughs> Luckily, we still have this chopper here, so we're gonna be able to roll out fairly quickly. We did, uh, we did get a new skill point though, so we probably want to go go check that out. We've got two skill points currently, um, plus twenty percent to our XP. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I feel like that's always a good thing to have. Deploy your parachute by pressing X. Night vision. I mean, that's not bad, but I feel like we really won't won't use it that much. I'm I'm gonna go with this. Let's grab that as well. And then that's going to open up our next kind of branch of, of options here. So that's good. All right, two and a half kilometers. We're going to hop in the uh, hop in the helo here. And let's roll out. Looks like this is it. Just a little fishing hut on this lake. Let's hope that Josiah is still there and alive. And if this is our fallback point, like you said, we may have uh, have additional ghosts here as well. Keep our fingers crossed. Hey, Red Queen. White Rabbit. Nomad? Josiah. Holy shit. Nice to see you're still above ground. Look at those tats, dude. Anyone else from your chalk? A few. Who were scattered. Man, we sure screwed the pooch on this one. Josiah, I saw Walker out there, 
hunting down our soldiers. You saw who? Lieutenant Colonel Walker. Cole Walker. Here. Fighting our guys? There's no way. Believe it? It's what I saw. That bastard's gonna pay. I hope that bastard burns in hell. I thought he was your friend. That was yesterday. Today he's the asshole shooting at my soldiers. <sighs> so what's your lay of the land? Either Walker sank that cargo ship, or someone he was working with did. Look. All right, you obtained a piece of information that could resolve an investigation. Who sank the U.S. military ship is our question. Here are the clues we have. And then click there to resolve it. So this is from Jay Skell's journal. It says, I cannot express the pain that has settled in the depths of my soul this day. Learning the truth about the USSC secret cargo will forever mark my thoughts as it marked my actions. I knew I needed to stop that ship at all costs. So small sacrifice in exchange for millions of saved lies. Interesting. And then, uh, yeah, we know that there was a, a drone attack there so we can resolve it. Jay Skell sunk that cargo ship. Damn. Everything that happens here is because of that prick. I'll locate Jay Skell. I met some Skell Tech employees. I'll see what they know. I'll try and round up more survivors. We'll link up at RP Delta. Sounds good. Dude. Yeah, this Jay Skell. Portrays himself as a good guy, but uh, he's actually a crazy maniac, pretty much.